Hey guys, Crystal here, and we're back for more um, of the test series. If you missed the la the first video with the first ending, um, link's gonna be down below, and the playlist information is gonna be down below. It's probably gonna be a card above my head, as per usual. Um, I don't. This one I'm going in completely blind. I don't know what to expect, but it is the second game, and I'm like, why not play all three? There's actually like technically more than three, but um, I think I might just go for these three. Um, we'll, we'll see. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna just jump right in. Before experiencing the test, Hypothesis Rising, it is highly recommended that you've played its prequel, The Test, first before venturing into this experience. You will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you've played the test first. And this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the test left off. Would you like to... I would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing forward. Follow the instructions listen throughout the list listed throughout the game as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall. Taking the test in order they were meant to be taken in. I don't like this font. It's actually kind of tricksy for me to read. Would you like to close this game now so you can have the opportunity to play the test first? You will not get the chance to exit the game after. I have already played the test. Wonderful news. You can continue. We can continue. We have a new person, and it's kind of similar. Um, all right, there we go. All right, I like how it's down here now. It's very visual novel, like a uh, Doki Doki, uh, just like the, the look of it. I, I appreciate this. Hello, friend, and welcome. To Hello, friend, and welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. So we actually know the character. The character's name is Fate now. Neat. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with the blah, 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 and the nonsensical speak, so I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes... We have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular that I'd like to ask for you to ask yourself. Are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great. It's, but it's not the same thing as being happy. I want to help you. I want to inspire you to be the best you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out so you can harvest my soul. I see the blood everywhere you've taken over for the nice witch lady. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking? Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you're going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100%, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. Do you, wa you want to be happy, don't you? You want to do something so bold as to... You wouldn't... <laughs> yeah... You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate, would you? Little bit. I mean, you're kind of creeping me out. Just remember, if you lie, the only person you'll be lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is yourself. Believe me, you will suffer. 
How can you know if I'm lying to you, though? Honestly. Like, I kind of want to, like, play this game and just lie and just see what happens. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that feel that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things, and sometimes we don't have desirable truths as humans. I cannot express I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get the advice you deserve. As you read the questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at. The answer that best suits your own psyche. It's going to make me cry again, isn't it? If you've never experienced the scenario of being the scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you have and try to assume how you might feel about the situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secrets to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We are going to start with some basic, easy questions. Hey, where'd the pleasant music go? I was really vibing with that really pleasant music. And here we go. Oh, you're an ass. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this one little bit. I hate you. <laughs> okay, okay. Focus, bring it in. Bring it in, we're in a safe place. If you answer these questions twice, your advice, your advice may change. It is just about answering the questions. It's about how many diff, it's about many different variables. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer the proposed questions. With that being said, it is far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of the answer you're, going, you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Do you feel right comfortable right now? Yes, you took away my happy, like, Stardew Valley-esque music, you asshole. Are you nervous? No, I, I don't I don't think I'm nervous. I'm the music is making me on edge. There's a difference. Do you feel cold? No, I do not feel cold. Do you feel sad? No, today's so far is a pretty good day. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Yes. I've lashed out before, 100%. Uh, do you crave the acceptance of others? Yeah? Of course I do. Remember the questions from last last game? Oh boy. Have you ever lost, lost a loved one? Yes. And I still have a rough time with it, but it's all good. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yes. Part of my trauma in high school. Do you believe in demons? I believe in angry spirits, just like I said last time. Hmm. Do you believe in curses? No. I don't think so. I believe we, we kind of... I believe in curse words, but I, not, not what he's asking. Would you consider yourself to be spiritual? A little bit. Not not like a lot. Um, 
I'm not very religious. I'm not a very practiced Wiccan. But I am remotely spiritual. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. That's another question from the last game. If there was undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Have you seen the rent prices in this t <laughs> lately, buddy? Fate, I hate to tell you, but um, you can't just get out of a lease, you know? Have you ever been, have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? Yes. Um, it was an eraser on a table. Just kind of like went. Uh, do you believe that it is possible for a game to summon the supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it? I mean, I have seen the campy music, okay? Or the, um, what's, what was it called? Uh, the game, the movie called Stay Alive, I think? With Elizabeth Bathory and, and stuff. It was super, super camp. But, um, this is the real world. Would you like to make more friends? Sure. Who wouldn't? Do you consider yourself to be a good friend? I'm gonna stick with the same answer I had last time. Not really, because I'm not, I, I just, I feel like I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but that's anxiety, you know what I mean? Do you feel lonely? I used to. I don't really feel lonely anymore. What the fuck was that? Do you feel you make friends easy? No. Do you tend to avoid drama wherever possible? Yes. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Yes. Do you like horror movies? Fuck yeah, but chicken shit though. This is all very interesting. Have you played the test? Yes. That's the spirits. Have you ever played the horoscope? No, I have not. Give it a whack. I'm totally not biased or anything. The horoscope. Okay. Do you watch porn? No. Would you consider yourself to be a very hard worker? Yes. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Yes. Do you consider yourself to be a confident person? I fake it pretty well. Um, I'm not... With, with the anxiety and the depression, it's, it's, it's an act. I'm not very confident at all. Would you help an old lady cross a street even if you were running late for an appointment? Provided that the old lady actually wanted my help, I would ask for her consent. Be like, hey, do you need a hand? Uh, and if she said no, then no. If she said yes, then yes. Consent is sexy, even when it comes to um, helping old ladies across the street. Because in my experience, there are a lot of people in the elderly range that really want to be able to do things themselves. And they're also people that want help, just like there are people who not, aren't old that want help. So, yes. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save your own? No! Under absolutely no circumstances. I love Azza more than life, but that does not mean other people's pets. Okay? Just no. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? No! What the fuck is this? Have you ever been ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? Yep! <laughs> All the time, and then you keep dancing because it's fun. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes in the back of your head so far to see if they'd really get stuck? Yes. It's like, it's uh, don't do this, your face gets stuck that way. You always try to see if your face will actually get stuck. Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? I'm not a big pranker, so no. Are you streaming live right now? No, but I'm recording, so I'm going to say yes. Well, hello there, audience. Fucked up. Are you recording a gameplay session right now? Yes. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? Sure. Because, I mean, the developers could watch my tiny-ass channel. If you left a comment for me at any point in time, 
I've read your words. Does that bother you? No. That'd be super cool. If the devs dropped by my channel, I would be like, ah! If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Yes. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Aww. Uh, sure. I doubt it, but I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? I mean... Yes and no. It's not a. It's not like a. Oh my God! There's a snake. Um, I'll just say yes because snakes are scared. Do you believe in magic? Yes. Have you cried in the last month? Thanks to you, I cried last week, jackass. I guess it wasn't you. It was the witch, whoever that is. Do you have a hero? Not anymore. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? I think I would like to think so. I think so. Yes. Um, do you enjoy active outdoor activities? No, but I'm trying to get back, get into trying at least doing something. Do you consider yourself lazy? I guess this was my answer for the last question too. Yes. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Yes. I almost spent all day today watching Vampire Diaries. Um, do you put the needs of others before yourself all the fucking time? I have martyr syndrome. I don't actually know if that's a thing. But I am 100%. If it makes somebody else happy, I will take the hit. Um, would your family and friends describe you as kind? I don't know. I don't... I don't want to speak for my friends or family. So I'm... I, no. I, 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 I don't know. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? I don't feel like that's a gray area. Because I had technically had permission but um after high school when i started dating my husband um since it was long distance he's like and i was in a it was in like a semi um a not really serious relationship at the time um and it was like yeah like you can have multiple relationships it's totally fine so no have you ever been cheated on in a relationship Technically, yes. From what I understand. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I saw your boyfriend with like somebody else, but I could never corroborate that. But I think so. Do you ever consider yourself to be judgmental? No. Not now. I used to be. Not now. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? I really don't think so. No. Do you love animals? Yes. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with a super like just to make shit real awkward? That's gross. No, I would not do that. I'm not that kind of. Yeah, uh, mm, uh, me neither. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol? Yes. I don't do it very often. Are you intoxicated right now? I never drink that much. Ever. Well, that makes one of us. Freaking, what is this game? Um, do you like the phrase sneaky snake? I've never heard of it before. Are these questions a bit strange to you? Yes. Do you have a vivid imagination? Unfortunately, it is a dangerous thing. My, my brain sometimes. Do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Yes. Again, same questions as last time. Do you consider yourself to be antisocial? Mm, antisocial? No. Socially apprehensive? Yes. <laughs> Do you hold a grudge for long periods of time? Again, this is a repeat question. It's a missed opportunity to kind of look through the saved file and see like what questions I've answered, if that would be possible. Have you ever urinated in public? No. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Guess what? No, my dad does. Anytime growing up, I, we would split the pizza in half and he would have pineapple and I wouldn't. I think pineapple on pizza is nasty. Well, not, it's not nasty. No, I wouldn't go that far because I have tried it. It's weird. It's like peanut butter on pancakes. It's just like, I can see where this is going, but eh. Uh, would you consider yourself to be selfish? I would not, but other people have considered me selfish. 
but that's boundaries. Do you think you've got a big ego? No. My ego has been bruised so many times, it's a pile of ashes on the floor. Um, do you consider yourself kinky? No. Uh, we have covered this already. Asexual, sex repulsed, not into that sort of thing. No. Do you consider yourself to be religious? No. Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? And I used to be. It's another one of those things where I've kind of tempered my temperamentalness, so no. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it. Well, if they didn't deserve it, then why would it spa save my own life? They didn't deserve it, so no. Just, just no. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? If we were in that situation and it would save them, I probably? Even more interesting. Have you ever been inside a burning building? No. Have you ever been to a funeral? Unfortunately, yes. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? If I'm not dead, it wouldn't really be my... F no, I don't want to... That's. I wouldn't want to know. If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute most worst of what is in store for you, would you still look? No. I don't want to know. I... I... Especially if it'd be the worst, because I expect it to be the worst. So, no. I wouldn't want to know. Not at all. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? I don't understand why I, that would be an option. If I could stop time, I would just get more work done. Let's be honest. If you had the power to remove one person from the earth, never to return again, would you use it? No. The only person that would be on that list is technically already dead. If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? Eh, not really. Maybe. If someone treat, if someone threatened to kill you, would your first response to react in violence? Threatened to? No. Because threats are words. If someone comes to try to knife my ass, hell yeah. I have temp- I used to be angry, violent, all that crap. I'm not anymore. No. Violence is a last resort. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologized to you? No. I would tell them that they need to seek help, and I would help them try to seek the help, but I would not be impressed that they stole money from me. If a family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them about it directly? Yes. I, I am a firm believer. If you have something nasty to say about me, say it to my face. If you say it behind my back, I'm going to ask if it's true, because you and I need to have an open conversation of what type of relationship we need to have going forward. If you had eaten a raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? No. That's gross. If you woke up tomorrow and no, no one of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave or start a new life? I'm counting this as, like, immediate family, so I'd be very upset that, like, I, like there are a few... I have a short list of people I'd be very upset that they don't remember me. But I think I would... I think I would try to see if I could help. A homeless man was sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain. Would you be willing to give the clothes off your back and walk home naked? No, because I would buy them an umbrella. Or or I would, like, help... I would, like, point them at the nearest... Um... Her, I would at least try to get them an umbrella or, like, a sleeping bag or something. Because if they were raining, if, if, if it's raining, I'm already wet. It's not going to help them. If someone accidentally hits you uh, with their car, but su you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset? I would, if I was fine, I'd be very salty about it, but I wouldn't be upset necessarily. You know what? No. 
I'd be upset. I'd be salt. I'd very be very salty about it. Have you looked for any hidden meanings in the message to these questions? No, I'm too busy recording. Maybe you should have been. I missed one because we saw something flash on the screen. If you're wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering the questions. Or am I wondering? Yes. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Yes. Maybe not to me. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. i rather have a jacket, if I can be completely honest, because umbre umbrellas are not made to, like, upstand, like, sudden wind currents. So... Wait. Umbrellas aren't worth lug lugging around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do you agree? No, they're on the same tier of color. <laughs> Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing in the wind? I don't understand what that question is, so no. Um, eating in front of people can be awkward. Do you agree? Yes. Rings used as a ceremonial wedding gift so outdated. Do you agree? No, because I love my wedding ring. I'm not wearing it right now because um, I have to, since I wear it constantly and sometimes I wash the dishes with it, I think my fingers get a little dry and crackly, so I'm not wearing it right now. But I, I love my wedding ring. Do you realize that the first letter of the last six questions, when combined, spells out the word murder? I will be checking. Um, this later. Um, but I didn't realize it now. Um, but I will not put the spoilers in the videos because I want everyone to, like, experience this themselves. Do you know why that is? No. Uh, does that make you slightly uncomfortable? No. Yes, no, yes, no, no. Are you going to start paying closer attention that you may have, what you have may got yourself into? Probably not. Do you realize it's too late to turn back now? Yes. Oh god. I saw that one this time. It says I'm here. Do you hear someone in your room? No. Do you see the shadows closing in? I'm checking. I'm ch <laughs> god damn the way these questions are designed. Um, no I don't. Do you feel like you're being watched? A little bit. Do you look around the moment we go? Yes. <sighs> Do you take wa long walks on the beach? No, we don't have a beach nearby. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? Yes. Do you ever feel like giving up on life? I used to. So, yes. We've talked about this in the last video. Um, there was a moment when I was like uh, 18 or 19 where I thought about it. So, yeah. Do you love your family more than you love yourself? That, I feel like that's a little bit of a loaded question, but most recently, no, because I am trying to establish healthy boundaries. Do you have a best friend who clearly, who is clearly better than the rest of your friends? I don't know if, I, for, a first, for the first second I thought about it, I'm like, yeah. I know one friend who is like above, like god, like god tier in terms of friends. Um, but no, but the more I think about it, I don't think so. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the corona? No, I fucking don't. It is not a conspiracy. Get your goddamn vaccinations. Do you believe that you're human? Last time I checked, I wish I was a vampire. That'd be way more cool. If you could turn invisible. But you could never be visible ever again. Once you decided to use that power for the first time, would you use it? No, because, like, I'm already feel invisible. I don't need that power. I'm kidding. That was a joke. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? I think I would try to, I think I would try to see if, like, I think I would make them a bunch of food. Because I'm a cook. I'm a baker. Uh, so yeah, I would try to stop them. Like, don't do that. Here, have this actual three-course meal. <laughs> if you were stranded on a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, 
Would, but you found a secret stash of food. Jesus Christ. That they didn't know about, would you share? Yes. If you could turn into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person for until a year has passed, would you do it? No. I, if it was like a, a lion or like a dragon or a, some, like an eagle, no. Because I feel like flying, though cool, I, 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 don't, I think I would not live that long. So no. If you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to death using nothing but a machete and an army helmet, would you do it? No! I am insane. I am not stupid. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? Eat exclusively? No. There's, there's better options out there. Like, if that was, like, one option where I had to, like, have pota potatoes in every single meal, I could I can be versatile with potatoes. If pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece of it, would you still continue to eat the pizza? No, I would be mortally terrified that a pizza was screaming. If your best friend got bit in the genitals by a... <laughs> okay, I shouldn't laugh. By a, hu by a highly venomous snake, and the only way to save their life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? This is a, this is like an, a part of jackass, or there's like, this is like, I, no, I would rush them to the hospital. Was that question difficult to answer? No, it wasn't. Do you feel mortal? Yes. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes. <sighs> Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes, because I am fat and ugly and think jiggle in the wrong way. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? Yes. Do you ever feel depressed? Yes. These are all questions we had before. You're not alone. I know I'm not alone. Uh, Do you feel relaxed? Kind of. Uh, do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? Sometimes I feel like my grandma is, but no. Do you ever hear your name being called when no one has called it? Yes. I'm going to take a special note on that one. Fucking jackass. Do you always look both ways before crossing the road? I look both ways at least twice. Let's be honest. Do you wash your hands every day? Yes, especially now half of the reason why my ring fingers dried out. Do you feel comfortable with using public restrooms? Not so much. No, I'm really not. Is winter your favorite season? No. I don't like winter. Do you know anyone named Josh? Yes. Have you been wondering what the last question was relevant? It was probably because there's another hidden message I missed. Yes. Are you allergic to any animals? A little, not, not, so, I used to be allergic to cats, but the longer I spent time around Azza, so no, not anymore. Do you ever, have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No, have you? Uh, have you ever been in love? Yes. Would you, would you consider yourself to be artistic? Artistic, yes. Good at it? No. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be dominant in day-to-day -day life. Nah, I'm a control freak. I don't know if I'm dominant. Do you feel that you've got too much time on your hands? Yes and no. Uh, soon no, because I'll be working really hard on the book. Can you be easily intimidated by others? Yes. If people start yelling, I will freeze or I will, um, or I will, yeah, mostly I will freeze, cry, and shut down. So, yes. <laughs> um, are you easily excitable? No. When I get there, I get there. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? No. We've talked about this in the last one. Uh, do you have a difficult time relaxing? Yes, because I should be working on something. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? Fuck no. I'm pretty low. Uh, do you trust easily? Unfortunately. 
<laughs> Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? Yes. Have you ever told a lie? Of course. I, you know, white lies. It depends on the severity of a lie, really. Have you ever lied to your best friend? Yeah, I think so. Have you lied to your family? More, yes. Now, these lies, have you lied about any qu answers during the session? No. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? Yes. It's just very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? Yes. Do you enjoy being the center of attention? We've went through this. Fuck no. Do you feel like you've got a good sense of humor? I think so. Uh, do you frighten easily? I'm mean, like... Saw that coming. If you're about to jump scare me, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> Fuck you, fate! <laughs> I did have my eyes covered, but I was actually looking at it through OBS. <laughs> That's probably a really good place for us to stop this simple segment of questions and move on to the more gritty ones. Next questions will not be a yes or no answers. The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of the choice making. We'll see how you handle yourself. The options delve deeper in each scenario. Remember, the key to all of this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. The fuck? You're home alone. It's dark. It's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock at the bedroom door. There's someone in your house. What do you do? Uh, go to the closet. Or grab the closest item. Ignore the knocking. Hope it goes away. Ask who is it. Boldly open the door. Um, none of these options. But we'll go with the grab that one. Very interesting choice. Uh, you meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks for money. You find yourself... You need to pay, just as you do, a homeless man approaches you. Uh... <laughs> that's, that's scary. Um, tell the homeless man to share... I got nothing left to offer, bud. Uh, both your mother and your father fall incredibly ill. Life-threatening disease. Only enough medicine to save one of your parents. Oh, and the time is of the essence. What do you do? Give the treatment to my father, mother, split it, or I give it to my dad. Duh. He'd be pissed. Dad would. Dad would be pissed at me if I did it. But, uh, yeah, he'd want me to uh, save myself, probably. You find a case of money tucked away inside a dumpster. Inside, there's a solid gold bars, a vial of liquid. Under the vial, there's a note that says the cure for cancer. What would you do? Turn the case into a professional entity so they can utilize it. Keep the gold bar, but give the cure to cancer. Keep the cure to cancer, but give the gold bar. Or keep everything and sell it. I would keep the gold and uh, give the cancer cure. What a wasted opportunity! Dude! I'm sorry, I shouldn't judge. Fuck you. This asshole. You're stuck alone inside of your house, starving to death. You've completely run out of food. No one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? None of these? I would continue to starve. I would continue to starve. Well, I am not surprised. I mean, really, um, I'd probably uh, end us both and meet, I believe, in resurrection. Your neighbor is home. Your neighbor's home is on fire. Blazing inferno among the smoke emits from under the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is in sight. What do you do? 
Call the fire department and keep a distance. There is no way in hell I will be able to save them because I do not lack the proper equipment. I like that. You're fast asleep in your bed when you are awoken by sounds like a woman muffled cries somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? Uh, verbally call out who's there. Jump out of the bed. Run to the out of the room immediately. I would haul ass. 100% I would fucking haul ass. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street and pulls a watch from his pocket, hands it to you. He claims that the watch stopped ticking and marks the moment your time runs out on this earth. What would you do? Take the watch and thank him for the gift. Decline the offer and keep walking. Tell him that he needs professional help to keep his distance. Tell him you've already got three of them in a toy in a toy as a toy in your happy meal. Um, decline the offer for the watch, keep going. Because I don't want to tell them they're crazy. Because they might, you know, attack. Um, you're sitting home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulders firmly from behind. I would immediately jump and turn around. Actually, no. I would spin around and viciously elbow who's ever behind me. I do not scare. I do not scare well, and I have a violent reaction when I'm scared. Ha! You're sitting in a bathtub trying to relax. Hand emerges from the water. What do you do? Fucking pinch myself awake. I must be dreaming. Uh, jump out of the bath and run as fast as you can. I'm not even going to read the other ones. You get out of bed, immediately fall down into a deep, dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down, telling you to put the lotion on your skin. Ah! Uh, just tell him that he's sensitive skin, you got allergies. Oh god, that's so fucked up. Um... Oh god, what would I do? I would tell him that this the lotion thing isn't going to work because that way my skin's not going to be perfect for him and he would kill me and this all would be over. Smart choice. You're sitting at home alone and all of a sudden the door slams shut. You see before your very eyes you see it before your very eyes and no one is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Sit perfectly still and watch the door. Look for a weapon. Jump up and try to climb out the window. Um, s stay perfectly still and, and ignore it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I've done that. I'm like, yep, nope, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. But I watch it intently to see if it happens again. Someone you've known for many years but have no attraction to tells you that they have a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Ask them on a date who knows what'll happen. I tell you that they're flattered but you're not interested. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm married and I'm ace. Leave me alone. Ah, you're one of those types. What's that supposed to mean? Your dog starts randomly barking at the darkest corner of your living room. There doesn't appear to be anything there, but your dog insists the uh, this dog starts growling. Um, stay this down the corner. Walk up to the corner. Walk out of the room and ignore it entirely. No, um, I would actually go see what they were staring at. I would investigate. As he's done that a few times and I've gone to investigate. I'm taking a note on that one. You see a massive spider in your room the size of your hand. What do you do? Grab something bigger to smash it? No. Well, I guess I'm moving out now. Uh, burn down the entire house. It's the only way to be safe. Um, there's no, like, call my husband and make him handle the situation. Um, guess I'm moving up now. Ah. Oh, your closest family member tells you that they're still your killer. What do you do? Tell them you don't want to know the details. Turn them into the authorities. Ask for the information to help them stay out of trouble. Try to convince them that they need help. Turn them into the authorities without a second thought. I see. They're a serial killer. They need to. They need to go away. If you found out the that you only had one day left to live, what would you do? Um, tell everyone that I love them not to be sad. Something insane or crazy. Uh, don't tell anyone, just act as if nothing has changed. Spend my time on my own. 
uh, my short list. I would tell people on my short list. If one of your pets speaking to you told you that they're they got a dire warning that they're going to die if you didn't let them eat all of the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? Go lay down because you're obviously too high for this. Uh, give them the ice cream. Don't give the I give ice cream. You're not going to fall for that one. Um, I would go lay down. I'm obviously way too high. Um, all of a sudden, you could start hearing other people's thoughts and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money. What would you do? Um... Tell them you don't think mugging you is a good idea. Get away from them as quickly as possible. Ignore it. Um, get away as quickly as possible. That sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison. Help them hide the body. I mean, that's the meme that we all, you know, you called the friend, you know, would help you hide the body. But I mean, at the same time, is it actually... Um, try to convince them to turn, turn themselves in. You're driving in your car. You accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure that they're gonna, they're okay. Uh, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that that was probably wishful thinking. Turn yourself into the authorities. No, you're not watching me, Fate. I saw that. This time it didn't scare me. Uh, interesting how that played out. I think it's time to move on to the next portion of our test. Following questions shall, that shall be asked is would you rather style questions. Imagine you got a gun in your head and absolutely must choose an answer. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get started. Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Loved by all. I don't like being feared. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? Never get angry. Would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or by your friends? Both technically. Parents. Just because it's like by my dad. My dad's opinion is very important to me. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? In space! I don't like being underwater. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to people who need them? People who need them. Because my body's nothing. There's nothing scientifically interesting about my body. Would you rather go to jail for five years for someone, something you didn't do? Or get away with something horrible because you always... Um... Oh god... Neither. But like, if I didn't do it, I don't want to go to jail. That's that's a shitty question. Would you rather work at a horrible job you hate but retire comfortably ten years from now, or would you rather have your dream job and work until the day you die? Dream job forever. Yeah, dream job forever, hundred percent. Would you? Because I worked a job I hated for ten years, and it was literally it put my body into something I can't recover from. Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear be something itchy or be able to only use one toilet? I would go with the toilet paper because one ply, if you fold it enough times, will be better. <laughs> would you rather have skin that changes color depending on your mood or have tattoos that appear on your body to depict what you did yesterday? I think the tattoo thing would be actually really cool. Would you rather shit... Every time you orgasm or over orgasm every time you see a dog? Uh, I feel like, like, the top one would be, like, the most private. So, we're, we're gonna do that. Um, if your part- you and your partner switch bodies. If your partner switched bodies with one of your parents. And the only way to have them switch back was to have- how oh, ew. No, seriously. I'm not even finishing that question. That is gross. Just answer the question. I've... I, I fucking hate you, Fate. He's just like, that had no bearing on your answers. That was just gross. I think we've answered enough of these types of questions. And I'm sure you'd agree. Yes. 
If you're going to end the test with a short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started. Out of the following options, which is the number you like the most? Seven. Apparently it's a lucky number. Out of all the following options, what color makes you feel the most relaxed? Uh, bleep. Out of all the following options, what creature are you least comfortable around? Snakes. Out of all the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Peanut butter. <laughs> Out of all the following options, what are the personally value you value the most? Friends. Out of all the following options, what could you most live without? Family money. I mean, we spent a lot of time being broke. <laughs> Out of all the following options, what sentiment is the most act most accurate? I'm smart, I'm caring, or I'm brave. I am caring. I care way too much. Out of the following options, what are you the most afraid of? Living forever, losing loved ones, dying alone, dying immediately after this goddamn fucking test is finished. I think dying alone. We're almost finished, but I've just got one more final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? No. You're ready all to try it sometime. It really takes an edge off. All right, we're done here. I'm through with you. I'm going to calculate your results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. I'm trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. I'm trying to keep it as professional as possible. Ah, here we go. Based on what you've told me, you've come to the actual conclusion. This personal belief, you would rather you be in your best interest. I personally be to acknowledge a set in motion under personal happiness in your life. I'm getting exhausted. First and foremost, I'd like you to start with a blatant sentiment I think everyone needs to hear. Sometimes that it is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that is such an incredible, unique, irresponsible value compared to any other things on Earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life. You can spend time with anyone doing anything for any reason. And now, now the time can be spent, the time can be wasted, and the time can be taken away. But time can be never been refunded, can be never been earned back, and can never be gained. Unless you watch the movie Timeless, which was a really campy, kind of fun movie to watch. Kind of recommend it. Imagine a bank account with all the money you ever get to spend in life. Now imagine knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day and purchase something you really needed, and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you can't afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time and we have no idea how much more or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what to spend our time on just shows you how it truly can be special if someone spends their time on you. And now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion that you personally uh, for you personally on how you think the best is spending your time in order to achieve everything you need in the current stage of your life. Let me see here. All right. This is fairly interesting. You're among the rare few people who have an incredible amount of untapped potential and you're not using this potential to your advantage. I think you need to take a good hard look at what you invest your time into and ask yourself if you really, really, truly worth it. If it's really, truly worth it. Consider how limited of time actually is in life. Are you doing everything you can to accomplish your goals before your time inevitably runs out? Because I don't think you are, and I think you know that. The only reason I'm telling you this is because that it is what you need to hear. You could be doing such amazing things but you aren't spending focusing on using those things uh, to your advantage or improving them enough. 
you got a natural knack, a real raw potential and talent, and you either worth either working hard enough to harness it or you're spending your time improving what is the wrong aspects of your life and you feel that deep down. My advice to you is to spend the time spend some time thinking about where you're going to end up in the next 10 years and continue your path we're currently on now. If you envision anything other than the pure contentment and happiness the end of your 10 year period, then you need to start walking down a different road. Once you figure that part out, you're going, you're going to be hell of a lot happier in life. And I think you can already feel the truth in that. I think you'll be very surprised how much of a positive impact you can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you in your goals. Your secret word is potential. Remember that word, it may come in handy. Take the secret word you've assigned at the end of your session and leave it a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to include in a future project we're working on. If you have left the secret word for us on your test or the horoscope, we've read your feedback and has helped you construct this project as well as the third installment of the test we are currently developing. Don't be afraid, this is an opportunity for you to be part of history, something greater, comments. If you don't want to, don't. Yeah, we've already, I already read this disclaimer. I know they've been some help to you, and if they aren't, it will all be come very soon. One more thing. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We've read every single review and comment we love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of all of this. And the third and final starment of this test series, all will be finally revealed. Not a single person has been able to figure out the entire experiment is all about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings, and da 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 From the bottom of our hearts, uh, we thank you for everything you do. Thank you for playing. Thank you for contributing your secret words to our projects. <sighs> okay. Well, that was um that was the test. So there's quite a few games I'm missing from this developers. Um yeah, random random studios and it it's a neat concept. We've made a list of names for those who supported the project along the way. We'll be continuing to extend the list. Would you like to see them now? Warning, it's quite long. Um, I'll look at it later. Okay. Whoops, wrong one. Also wrong. Okay. That was the test, the hypothesis rising. The second game in the series. Um, this time, I feel like the answer is kind of right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit this just in case the music gets spoopy. Also, I need to get that thing off my ear. One of these days, I'm gonna get a better headset. Alright. So, my thoughts on the second game. As I wheel my little headset around. I was definitely a lot more than the first one. Some of the questions did make me feel relatively uncomfortable. There were a few little jump scare moments that by the time they got to the third one, I saw it and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Because I don't believe it. Um, though, as to what the response was with the potential and the trying to figure out um, the, if you're on the right path, that is something I've been struggling with almost this entire time that I've been on YouTube and author tube and not working and stuff like that um it lately i have been starting to think about taking some changes for myself that now before anybody starts getting freaked out um i'm not changing youtube and i'm focusing on my book i am also adding focusing onto my physical health on top of that um i had a minor um pivot moment when i went out for doing errands a few days ago 
and walking felt weird. Um, I haven't been walking nearly as much as I should. I haven't been nearly as active as I should be. And God, reading all the questions sound makes me sound so hoarse. Um, so th I am taking steps to make myself better. I mean, I will show this. I even bought one of these fuckers. I bought a five pound weight to start getting stronger um, again. It's heavy, so I'm going to put it over there. So it says I'm still not wanting to join a gym um, yet. Gyms are expensive. I'm doing, I'm going to be doing workouts from home. I'm going to be changing how I do my stuff daily. Uh, that's why technically right now, um, full disclosure, it's March 5th because I am trying to make a bunch of videos one day, edit all of them the next day, and then get them programmed to be uploaded. So that way I have more time to work on myself, work on the book, um, and all of that stuff. So the answer that I got to the question wasn't necessarily incorrect. I feel like it didn't affect me nearly as much as it did as the first game did. So that's something. But yeah, that's where we are. I am very curious as to if it's... Because I've played games like Doki Doki Literature Club before. Where it is in your save files and you have to go into your save files and the game is learning about you as you're playing it. And I kind of wonder if it's doing the same thing here. If not, I think that is a very severe missed opportunity. So we'll see. Um, I came into this game blind. I came out of it tired. That was an hour of, of recording all those questions and the answers and trying to read it. I probably should have got water. So it wasn't a bad experience overall. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't nearly as um, hard hitting. I felt some of the questions were stupid. Um, but yeah, if this is something you're interested in, uh, check it out. The link's going to be down below for this for this game. Um, I feel like this was less fun, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. I like the way they designed the music, where it, was like, it started being really nice, and then it got creepy as fuck, and then it got nice again. But yeah, that was uh, the test. Hypothesis Rising. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'd like it if you did. Comment below what you think. Because this is a very weird game series. I think it's one of the weirdest series I've ever done. And I've done some weird shit. Um, I'm streaming Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Mondays is Mass Effect Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where Instagram has, has um, required me to play the Renegade playthrough. Where I'm the biggest asshole in all of the space. And Wednesday is Writing Wednesday. Where I'm going to do productivity sprints. So I can get some more work done and get distracted by my friends. I'm going to stop talking now and make myself a tea so I can get my voice back. I'm going to go watch Vampire Diaries. So until next time, I love and appreciate every single one of you. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!